Celebrity Deathmatch is one of the greatest shows ever made, but it was cancelled after its fourth season, but a few years later, in 2006, it was brought back due to popular demand. But it wasn't brought back with the same crew that created the original. And as a huge fan of the series, I'd like to show you all exactly why seasons 5 and 6 were horribly executed and likely butchered any chances of the show making another comeback. So let's start by taking a look at the first episode of its return for season 5. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Johnny Gomez, here with Nick Diamond. Three long, hard years of professional decline, spiraling ever downward, from hosting high line matches to mall openings to children's birthday parties, and finally hitting rock bottom as a recurring character on Reba. Glad to see that our favorite hosts are back, but what did they do to Johnny? His hair, why is it red? His eyes, why are they black instead of green? I know they're just small nitpicks, but couldn't they give them their exact features correctly? Saying the show was coming back, well, it caught me by complete surprise. It caught everyone by surprise, Johnny. Oh my god, what the hell did they do to Nick Diamond? How was this in any way funny? This is the best they could think of for a joke on Nick? They don't even explain why he suddenly has a boob job. They just say, oh, a lot has happened since the series was cancelled and expect you to just buy that as an explanation. That's bullshit, why didn't they give us like a flashback clip? I would have loved to have seen what they went through after its cancellation. The flashback clips were some of the best moments in the show. Like when they went to Tijuana and got in a bar fight, that shit was hilarious. Nick's eyes are also black instead of blue. Did these new creators even do their homework on the two hosts that took part in the series the entire time? So the first fight is Paris Hilton versus Nicole Richie. <laughs> Remember when these two pampered hoes were given too much attention on TV? Were these the first bitches to be famous because someone in their family was famous? Damn. They started the whole talentless attention phase, didn't they? Before the fight begins, they get interviewed and their interviewer is not Debbie Matinopoulos? The fuck? Where's Debbie? Who's this? Tally Wonk? Let me look her up. She was solely made for these next two seasons? Oh man, well, what the hell? Why didn't they bring Debbie back? She was hilarious. I couldn't find any interviews about why she didn't return for this new season, but maybe it was for the best seeing as season 5 and 6 just... They, they couldn't compare to the previous four seasons. But it kind of sucks that they couldn't even bring her up or mention why she's not back either. The interview was, eh, they captured a good parody of the two. It was, it was a little bit funny that Paris turns to walk away and slams onto the lockers. They should have stopped it there, but then she keeps walking into the lockers. Should have ended the joke with the first slam and then had her turn and walk out of frame. That would have been funny. Man, I hate that Nick looks like this. I have to look at him like this throughout the entire episode. Speaking of looking like this, the clay models, well the clay like models, they look like a major downgrade. Nick and Johnny are super pale. Johnny for some reason is a redhead now. Any explanations? Of course not. Let's go down to our ref, the irrepressible Mills Lane. Alright ladies, I want you to keep it. Jesus Christ, what did they do to Mills Lane? That's fucking horrendous. His face is so goddamn swollen. How did they look at this and say, yup? That looks exactly like him. They couldn't just take the clay models from before? Or replicate it? It's not like they couldn't use clay models from the previous seasons. The audience consists of celebrities from previous seasons. There's Bruce Willis, Nick Nolte, Katie Couric next to Nick Nolte, Joey from NSYNC, that's Ozzy Osbourne, there's Macaulay Culkin, Ben Affleck, Farrell Fawcett, AJ from Backstreet Boys, Shania Twain, but no original Mills Lane? And not even the voice actor? Now I gotta stare at Mills looking like this and Nick with the boob job? Oh, holy hell, man. Just, just get to the fight already. <sighs> so their fight wasn't really entertaining. Their dialogue was unfunny. Paris was just getting her ass kicked the entire time. And even though the end result of Paris losing looked stunning, she was set on fire by a perfume. A perfume that acted as a blowtorch. 
I know things don't necessarily need to be believable, but they couldn't think of a better way to set her on fire. You know, like a creative way. I can accept that she loses due to fire because she's always saying that's hot and because you know she's not smart enough to drop and roll to attempt to put herself out. But a perfume that acts like a blowtorch, that, that's just not creative in this situation at all. Bad execution, but good results for the finishing move, I guess. The new podium looks alright, can't really complain about it, but I also don't really have much to say about it. <laughs> the next match is Bam Margera versus Tony Hawk. I don't think these two should have been matched up against each other. We've already seen them challenge each other on Tony Hawk's Underground 2, and to me that's more than enough. But a fight to the death between the two? Hell no. There are way better choices for both combatants. For example, Bam could have gone up against Steve-O since both of them would record countless stunts growing up. Bam could have also just been in a free-for-all with his CKY bros, or maybe go up against Johnny Knoxville. I say maybe because he's already fought in CDM, so he shouldn't have to come back, right? And as for Tony Hawk, have him challenge Tony Alba, calling it like Battle of the Pro Tonys. Or, better yet, Tony Hawk vs. Matt Hoffman. I'd love to see that. The pro skater vs. pro BMX rider himself. But Bam? They weren't thinking with perfect matchup ideas here. I think it's obvious that they only chose Bam because he was popular as hell in the mid-2000s. So the fight begins, it's very forgettable, there's nothing that will make you want to rewatch this fight at all. It's just corny as hell to say the least. Then one of the stupidest and most pointless moments occurs out of nowhere. A masked man that's clearly Michael Jackson shows up and starts attacking Tony Hawk? Why? No explanations and this, this is ridiculous in so many levels. Because for starters, Michael Jackson died in the second season. Characters will only be brought back if they somehow manage to survive against their opponent like with Leonardo DiCaprio and Courtney Love. But Michael Jackson melted in acid. There's no coming back from that. Not unless they use the time machine or sell someone or well, trade someone's soul in place for, you know, for the devil like they did with Instinct and uh, Backstreet Boys. So how the hell and why the hell is Michael Jackson back? Don't tell me that he's back just because they wanted to make fun of him since there was a vast amount of jokes and parodies thrown at Michael Jackson during the mid-2000s. This is pathetic and lame. How many times can the same joke possibly work? Not more than once, that's for sure. So they don't explain why he's the masked man and there's literally no reason why he of all people would or should interrupt the fight and save Bam of all people. The one of the main ongoing jokes in this fight is that Tony Hawk is boring. That's supposed to be funny? Really? They then throw in Don Vito, they make him look uglier than in person. And not just because of parody purposes, but because they couldn't bother to make his clay model have proportionate limbs. His shoulders are disconnected from his arms. It's fucking embarrassing. Where were the original creators like Eric Fogel when we needed them? Don Vito gets mad when Bam spills his drink. Bam circles around him in midair. Like, like I'm telling you, the creators from Celebrity Deathmatch Hits Germany must have worked on this. This has them written all over it. Don Vito gets mad. He approaches the arena, tilts it over, and swallows up Tony Hawk. That's it. That's how Tony Hawk loses. Wow. This is our first episode, ladies and gentlemen. And like with the previous fight, the guy that was teased the most and getting his ass kicked the most the entire time ended up losing. So on to the main event. Oh yeah, there is no main event. They just let Bam fight against Don Vito now. And yet another boring ass fight with no creativity. In the end, Bam just... He just makes him swallow up some firecrackers and then Don Vito just blows up. And that's it. And then the hosts they act like this was like the greatest fight ever like really you know damn well this is like the lamest shit ever i remember that when this episode first aired i was so looking forward to the series coming back i saw the commercials hyping up its return and even though i saw what the animation looked like like, like how it wasn't as appealing as season four's claymation i was hoping like crazy that it would live up to the standards of the previous four seasons 
And even after watching this first episode, I was in major denial. I recorded it, showed it to my brother, and he was like, he, well, he wasn't like me. He straight up said it was dog shit. And I was like, no, man, it's pretty good. I was in denial up the ass. That's how much I loved Celebrity Deathmatch. But just because you love a franchise so much, it doesn't mean that it's immune to shitty storyboards and animation. There will be episodes that don't live up to its standards. Other writers can get involved who don't have the same amount of passion or talent to create a great episode. And it's the same thing with movies and games, especially nowadays. It took me a couple more episodes to finally accept the fact that this new season of CDM was in no way living up to the standards of the previous seasons. The clay models looked awful, the jokes fall flat, the fights are so bad that I'm pretty sure the creators of Celebrity Deathmatch Hits Germany made them. And they completely ruined Nick Diamond and Mills Lane. And there's still more crap to look at here since I'm going to be analyzing seasons 5 and 6. And so far this is how long it's taken me just to analyze the first freaking episode. God help me. That's it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button to give this video a chance to grow. I'd like to thank all my Patreon supporters for their impeccable generosity. Your support means a lot to me and you are part of the reason why I try to make the best content that I can. And if you like this content, check out the rest of my channel. You'll find more entertainment from separate franchises I like to cover such as Mortal Kombat, Dragon Ball Z, Celebrity Deathmatch, Men in Black, The Mask, Batman Comics, The Terminator, TMNT, Dino Crisis, Resident Evil, and more. If you're a Patreon supporter, check out my exclusive videos such as the Gantz content. And if you'd like to show your support, go to my Patreon and support the channel, which is only a dollar. Sacrifice that McChicken for extra quality content, my friend. But anyways, I'll see you all in the next video, and remember to have an awesome day.